to go up this evening here in Kansas City. Uh, the heat th th that's going to start to go up as soon as the sun comes up. You can already feel that humidity this morning. Scattered downpours across northern Missouri and any rain that we receive today, Wednesday or Independence Day, it, it's going to keep that flooding concern elevated or leave us more susceptible or open to additional flash flooding and river flooding. So we talk about severe weather. You know, flooding is a type of severe weather, and that is certainly a possibility over the next few days. These are lighter downpours here in northwest Missouri, Maryville, Tarkio, Rockport, Fairfax, over to I-35, Bethany, and Gallatin. Those downpours are going to stay north of Kansas City this morning. It is an alert day. Two threats we need to be ready for. Excessive heat this afternoon. Heat index values 105 to 110, and then the potential of severe thunderstorms between 5 and 11 o'clock tonight. You know, the heat is a guarantee. The storms are not. So let's move ahead, keeping that in mind. You know, the storm chance is questionable, but there's going to be enough instability and wind shear to support some strong to severe storms later this evening. 77 degrees right now. Dew point values are above 70. That's why it's so humid. There's so much water vapor in the atmosphere right now. Temperatures in the low to upper 70s this morning will quickly climb on the 12 hour forecast into the mid 90s this afternoon with heat index values well above 100 degrees here in Kansas City. The chance of a thunderstorm in the metro begins to increase at 5 o'clock this afternoon and become more likely after 7 o'clock this evening. So those peak heat index values today you know, anywhere between 105 and 110 on average. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a hot and very humid afternoon. And then the other side to the alert day, the risk of a severe thunderstorm. So it looks like the most likely area is in this corridor far northeastern Kansas, northern Missouri, perhaps just to the north of Kansas City. The main threat here would be damaging wind and additional flooding, though I can't rule out a few reports of large hail or a brief tornado again between 5 and 11 o'clock this evening. We need you ready for those storms if they do develop. Make sure you have the KNBC app on your phones. That way you receive those alerts. Independence Day. This isn't looking great. Uh, scattered showers, a few thunderstorms in the morning might be a bit of a lull in the afternoon, and then the storm chance begins to increase again there in the evening. Lightning is going to be the biggest concern with just how many people are going to want to be outside, along with additional flooding. It is an impact day because we are anticipating showers and storms to have an impact on your holiday plans. Drier for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, highs in the low to mid 80s with sunshine, just a slim chance of a thunderstorm on Sunday and Monday with highs holding in the upper 80s. Cody, Nick, thank you. We're keeping you safe this morning ahead of the 4th of July.